welcome back to my channel. So I've kind of gotten into the to the resin pouring lately, so it's kind of fun. I'll get back to the polymer clay soon or some sewing, but right now this is kind of what I'm into. So I think every crafter knows how we go through through stages of different things that we like to do. So I'm going to make some um, some soap dishes today. And what I am going to attempt to do is I'm going to use a, um, a gum metal mica powder. I'm going to use a jade crush mica powder and a bronze mica powder. So that I'm going to do them all in those colors and I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, the white or the cream in with that and in the colors, I'm gonna use some of this ice resin glass glitter. So this I'm gonna mix in with the colors and see how that goes. So so um, I'm gonna mix up my resin and then I'll be back in one second to pour it. And then I have some, some uh, earring and pendant molds uh, that, and some bookmarks if I have extra resin left over. I'm gonna use these to uh, to pour and make some extra pieces. So we'll see what I have left over. It's kind of hard to judge because I haven't made these before. So to judge what amount I'm gonna need. So, uh, so with that, I will get my resin. Okay, so we'll have my colors mixed and I did with this little scooper here, I did like five scoops of the ice resin into each of my colors. So, what I'm gonna do is, so I'm put this in. do this color. gun metal. to do I'll do this one in the green All right, I'll put the last of the green in here I'm 
almost like all that glitter is left to settle to the bottom. I could have stirred that up before I did this, but what's done is done. I'm gonna get the most of it out of here. This one I was going to use in my own bathroom anyway, so if this one doesn't turn out well, it's okay. So, I'm trying to get those to run in together. Dirty knot. Okay, coming out. I'm going to blow the opposite way. Ah! I think there's very much of that one left. Okay, so we're going to let these set overnight. And we will do the big reveal tomorrow. And we'll see how these turn out and we'll see if I get very much jewelry out of any of this so so uh, hope to see you tomorrow good morning guys okay so pretty pretty cold here in Texas which is very unusual I live in central Texas and this morning we woke up to seven degree temperatures we've been in a severe winter storm for three or four days and it's going to go on another couple of days so it's very cold here and electricities have been going on and off so so i'm going to do the reveal i hope y'all are warm wherever you're at so i'm going to do the reveal and uh we're going to see how our bathroom uh, soap dispensers came out so that's the green one I noticed like see I'm not too happy with this because the glitter just didn't disperse the way I wanted it to so this one I'll put in my own bathroom so so but I like the mole so I will definitely use this one again and then this is the uh, this one was a little bit better it dispersed a little bit more evenly they definitely it's just too heavy for um for the rat for putting in resin and it kind of just fell to the bottom and then where the glitter is here i have these little 
areas that are like air bubbles, but it, I think it's just what that glitter caused. So it'll be iffy if I'm able to be able to put that one up on on uh, Etsy and sell it. So, and then this was the gun metal, which probably turned out the best of any of them because of the way the mold is made and that it's down in there. That one's not bad at all. It's actually kind of pretty. And that was probably my, this was my favorite mole anyway. So I'm glad that one came out a little bit strange on the sides, but I think that's okay. But I like the way it kind of settled and how the glitter went also into the, the tops of it. So you can see it up close. And then um, I did, I did a couple of uh, a pendant and earrings set to match that. And then I did some small stud earrings. Two sets, which uh, I will put backs on and definitely put these up. I think they're prettier on this side than the other side where that uh, glitter settled. So those turned out pretty nice. Kind of a creamy gray. And then I did two bookmarks. So they have the glitter kind of settled oddly on one side, but I like the way it did on this side. So these are definitely gonna be something that will go on my Etsy shop for sale. I have two sets of those. So I'll put all this down and do a, uh, a good close up for y'all so y'all can see them up close and see how they turned out and I hope y'all have enjoyed this video let me do a close-up <laughs> 